Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In this video, we're cutting little cedar slabs with our new blade from Saw Service of Washington. Check it out. Saw Service of Washington stumbled upon our YouTube channel and they reached out asking to send us some blades to try out. So in this box is some Winter Steiger blades. These blades are approximately $25 a piece and they're supposed to be top notch, high quality. So they say this Winter Steiger blade is supposed to be one of the most popular blades when it comes to cutting hardwoods. They import these blades directly from Germany and they're a super hardened steel. We're going to break it out of the box, get one installed on the sawmill, and we're going to test it out on this oak log that I have up here on the sawmill. Alright, so in the box we had three blades that they sent us over to try out. We really appreciate this saw service of Washington because I know these things are not cheap. We also have a little custom package here. I don't know what's on the inside. So it looks like they sent us some magnets as well as some business cards and some super cool stickers. Um, I think this is a great idea making your business card on a magnet because being that the sawmill is metal, I can just slap these magnets right up on here. And whenever I need new blades, I've got the phone number right there on the sawmill to call. All right, we're gonna get one of these blades opened up, get it installed on the sawmill and we'll get to cutting. All right, so before I get it installed on the sawmill, I want to take a look at the angle and the teeth on this Winter Steiger blade. As you can see, it's got quite a sharp angle. I'm going to compare it to the four degree wood miser blade. So if you look here, this is the wood miser four degree double hard blade. And then here is the Winter Steiger German imported blade. All right, if you look, I'm matching up the Winter Steiger blade to the Wood Miser's four degree double hard blade. You can see it's pretty close when it comes to the angle of the cut. So I have a feeling that these are gonna cut just as good, if not nicer than the Wood Miser's four degree double hards. While changing this blade, I'm gonna throw in some eye protection just in case the blade gets a little squirrely. All right, once I get this blade installed, I'm gonna give you a close-up view of how it looks. This blade may be too long for our LT15 wide. I'm gonna get the wood miser blade that I just took off and I'm gonna put it next to this one on the ground and we're gonna see how much bigger this Winter Steiger blade is than the Wood Miser blade. Look at this. So the Wood Miser four degree blade is the one on the inside and the Winter Steiger blade fits all the way around the Wood Miser blade. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not I think that blade is going to be too big for our sawmill and I think I'll have to send it back and get some smaller size blades. All right guys, we're back at the sawmill and those other blades that came in were actually two inches too big. Those blades were meant for sawmills with a little bit wider span than this LT15 wide. So I contacted Saw Service of Washington. They said, not a problem. They sent me over the correct length of blades in a couple days. So thank you Saw Service of Washington for doing that and having such great customer service. So these should be the correct size blades. I'm gonna get them on the sawmill and then we're gonna cut open a nice little cedar log and see how they do. While I'm getting this blade put on the sawmill, make sure you check out the shirt that I'm wearing. This is one of our new Triple L Rustic Design t-shirts that we're gonna be offering very soon on our website. If you're interested in purchasing one, Drop it in the comment box below so I know how many I should start making.
All right, we got that blade installed. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna close it up, start up the sawmill, and we'll get that cedar log up here on the mill. All right, guys, real quick. I always struggle with these blades, and I know some of you do too. I'm gonna show you how to close one of these big blades if you already have it open. So just grab, pretty decent. See where I got my hands, about shoulder height. You're just gonna put it up in the air, throw it down, and bring your hands together. Just like that. And it goes nice and neat. While the sawmill's heating up, I'm gonna grab this cedar log that we're gonna cut and test out this winter Steiger blade. So I think I've got a couple of little cedars that'll work out pretty good. All right, so like I've said in previous videos, we recently partnered with an epoxy company as well as a mold company. So we're gonna be making a lot of really nice cutting boards that include epoxy. So what we're gonna do with this nice little cedar log is cut them into some boards that we can use in the molds and fill with epoxy and make some sweet little river tables. All right, Zoe's behind the camera right now, but she's been wanting to get on the sawmill for the last couple days. So I'm gonna let her run the sawmill, test out these winter Steiger blades from the Saw Service of Washington, and I'm just gonna run the camera. She's gonna cut this little cedar log into some one and a half inch thick boards, and then that way when they're dry, they'll make the perfect boards for creating some river tables and some charcuterie boards in our molds with epoxy. some chatter in the log I fully believe it is not the blade but it's because this log is so short I'm having a hard time clamp it down so I I noticed as the blade is cutting through the log it's like the log is like vibrating which is causing this chatter the blade is cutting through this thing like butter I'm super impressed with these blades from saw service of Washington but testing it out on this little tiny cedar log the slabs look cool because cedar always looks awesome but it doesn't really let us test the full potential of these winter Steiger blades. So after this is done, we're probably gonna test it out on a couple more logs and really see how well they do. All right, so that last cut was three and a half inches. I'm gonna do one more cut at one and three quarters and we'll call it a day. Daddy didn't raise no fool, wouldn't let a date a boy until he taught her how to shoot. Daddy didn't play no games, wouldn't let her trade her name for a fake I do. You better know what you're getting into This ain't no shotgun wedding that you're used to The target is you If you labor standing all alone at the altar Daddy's daughter got a smith and a wash A pistol that her daddy bought a hidden in a garter And she ain't afraid to use 
out for this video that Winter Steiger Blade performed perfectly. Thank you so much to Saw Service of Washington for sending us that new blade. I highly recommend if you're in the market for a new sawmill blade to check them out. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. We'll see you next time.